First game as a broadcaster, first game as a player. More nervous with which one? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I think you know, it's hard for me to remember back that many years ago, but, you know, anytime you're a rookie playing for Bill Parcells as he makes his debut, um, you know, the nerves were amped up. You had that feeling in the stomach. So I would probably say as a rookie player coming to Dallas as a tight end and uh, as Bill referred to me a lot, you know, I was lost. I was a, I was a ball in high grass in, <laughs> in a lot of ways. But, uh, you know, it, it's funny when you go into broadcasting and a uh, great opportunity to call my first game. But it's similar. I mean, I, I just really reminded myself to smell the roses, you know, to, to the great history of Monday Night Football and be able to uh, carry on that vision. And, um, look, that, that chair is awful, awfully big, you know, and the job that those guys have done – like before me, so I, I was standing most of the game. Uh, that's a big seat to feel, and uh, but I had a lot of fun. And honestly, Dan, it's much like when you play. You know, you just continue to work at it, find ways to improve, have a lot of fun. Uh, certainly, a lot of areas to clean up, but um, I'm really enjoying an opportunity to stay around the game and share some of my insight and my knowledge over 15 years of playing it. And so, uh, having a lot of fun. Good team around me. How much did Tony Romo's success play into you taking this, John? Well, I, I think more than anything else, I caught myself watching him last year. That was probably the first time I really paid attention to a broadcast crew on that level, you know, and what all goes into it and um, the success that he had. And, you know, it's interesting when you when you dive into it, and certainly I studied a lot of guys in a lot of different sports. Um, you know, it's really hard to define – what it is, what are those traits, but you know it when you hear it, mm-hmm. uh, much like yourself, you know, it's like it's a good listen, and and you appreciate when you, you see it, and there's tips and pointers that you can learn from different guys on how you explain it, and, you know, not to go too too much football and on a level uh, that, that everybody can comprehend and appreciates and, and makes it enjoyable and entertaining and fun, and so, but you got to stay true to yourself, and that's what I've tried to do, and Tony uh, set the bar really high with his success, and what he and, uh, and Jim were able to achieve together last year. Finish this sentence. If I wasn't offered Monday night football. <laughs> oh, that's hard. That's hard. Um, I was offered it, so I was able to say that I took Monday night football. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. It was a really hard decision. I would have to say that, uh, you know, I was f- fortunate enough to still have the opportunity with Jerry to be able to play. Um but like anything, you know, I said it when I retired, you know, rather three hours too early than a minute too late. And uh, this opportunity to stay around the game on on this stage and to carry on the tradition of Monday Night Football, man, are you kidding me? I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And so that's what I'm excited about. And, look, I understand it. You know, it, it gets hot in the kitchen. I mean, the expectations, certainly they were high as a, as a player uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, but – you know, it's broadcasting. I mean, everybody has pointers and what you can do better, and, you know, it's, it, it's your first game. And so I think more than anything else, I hope to develop in, the, uh, in a lot of ways of a voice of reason and showcasing what I see and how quickly I can share that. And, you know, it's enjoyable. People sitting around the, their house on the couch on Monday night after spending the last three or four days watching ball, they want to enjoy that. And uh, so I thought we got off to a good start and plenty to improve. Could you play today? I don't know that anybody would say that they can't play. Any competitor would say, um, you know, it's funny when, when I retired, I was going through that process. I, I visited with Coach Parcells, who was a great mentor of mine my first four years, and my coach here in Dallas. And he said, Jason, you're, you're, you're going to feel like you're 45 years old. You can still go run up there and win on that Y option. And Heck, man, you probably can. You know, you'll probably be able to do it. And so, yeah, I think you always feel that way, but – Father, time waits on nobody, you know, and, and you see it with players. It's a tough league. And so, yeah, if it was a third and six, do I feel like I could go out there and help a team? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we would all say that, but uh, there's a lot more that goes into it than just that. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.